This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. This week, Camp and Vamp. If you're in the mood for a fresh take within the Dracula universe, the new movie Renfield might just be for you. To reacquaint R.M. Renfield's an English attorney who did some real estate business for the legendary bloodsucker in the past, becoming his familiar, less with limited vampiric powers, in which to pursue his goals, one of which is the caring, and mostly feeding, of Drac. This one's set in New Orleans, where the Count is recovering after an attack by vampire hunters. Renfield is scoping out potential victims at touchy-feely self-help groups, not from those attending, but from their abusive partners and bosses. Renfield himself comes to believe that he, too, is in an abusive relationship with Dracula and wants to break free, parroting morphisms from the self-help group, dressing in pastel knitwear, and fixing up an apartment like the set of a millennial-era workplace sitcom. Bringing this character off is the underrated Nicholas Holt, who's got the comedic chops to milk the scenario just described. Stealing the show from a support role, though, is Nicholas Cage as Dracula, who's been there before in 1988's Vampire's Kiss, and he really sinks his pointy teeth into the role. In a subplot that sometimes comes close to being overwhelming, Renfield, while on drag feeding business, runs afoul of some local mobsters, leading him to team up with local policewoman Rebecca, played by an all-business Aquafina, with whom Holt develops some chemistry as they slice and dice their way through Nola's underworld on their way to dispatching, maybe, the thirsty count himself. Ultimately, Renfield's an outrageous genre-clashing hoot, its excesses and misfires mostly excusable in the pursuit of laughs. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.